Hi everyone, I am here to talk about a concept known as what is generative AI. So before getting into what is generative AI, I would like to tell you how generative AI is just brought up an impact from artificial intelligence. So all we all know that nowadays the power of artificial intelligence is developing day by day. Artificial intelligence is the science and engineering of creating machines that can perform any task that typically require human intelligence. But the task that is done is should be understood by humans and it is taken from the human life's experiences. The introduction to generative AI is brought to the next level and the data is mimic of human cognitive functions to solve complex problems. The generative AI is the deep learning that is again a part of an artificial intelligence. So I will tell you the generative AI will help you to create a new artificial content like let it be texting or writing any kind of new content or video, images, or audio, or even data. So all these is brought up to respond to the data that is given by the humans. These respond to all the stimuli that is called to be as in prompts. The models, the generative models are allowed to do what the humans are to be told. It is very simple that all the large generative models are made through a model known to be as an LLM. So I am here to explain what is LLM. It is a large language model. This is an advancement that has led to the development of generative AI. Okay, so I will teach you what is LLM. LLM by the name itself tells you it is a large language model where the model contains a large data. So this large data, it is a super smart AI system that uses fancy neural network tricks and a lot of parametrics that can be understanding by the human-like languages. These are very brainy wizards of any AI world, especially good in understanding and creating the text. So that's how it has made humans life more easier and even simplifying and directing. This aids in creating more endeavors by generating ideas, designs and content across various domains. So now if you are interested to know more about the generative AI, you are landed on the correct video. So please do like, share and subscribe our Edureka's YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get into more updates. And to know more about the content of Generative AI, please do visit our website that is given in the description box. Now getting into the video, I would tell you what the agenda for today's video will be. Firstly, the real-time applications of Generative AI. Next, why Generative AI and why is the need of Generative AI? What are the models working in Generative AI? Lastly, how the evolution of Generative AI has taken place. Now let me tell you guys how the real world application has been evolved by using generative AI. Firstly, copy. Copy is directly proportional to you can tell uh, it is a content creation or it is a creativity writing into any content. So AI can produce an original and a creative content across various mediums like text, video and audio in many different platforms. So when it comes to 3D effects. As you can see, 3D effects, for example, you have a lot of movies releasing, a lot of animes, a lot of many, many stuff that people are getting encouraged and people are getting attracted to is by using 3D effects. So generative AI tools can be used to create 3D shapes and models utilizing a generative model. This can be achieved through various techniques, like using your algorithms like VAEs and GANs. So all the AI tools for the 3D shape generation are beneficial for creating the detailed shapes that are not be might be possible when manually creating a 3D image. So AI tools are very easy for creating your 3D shapes because they will give a good implementation to the screener. Next come your content creation. For content creation, I can give a best example that would be your social media, which is very much hyped nowadays. So content creation where the generated content includes images, videos and audios that is generated or modified by deep or machine learning processes. This content may include of real people that may be highly realistic or created in a particular artistic style. For example, I could even include paintings, cartoons and even anime as I told you all. So next let me tell you, even coding platforms also have used AI tools for creating and leveraged even in software development. For example, all the IT industries use coding in the AI field for making them very easy a time complexity and even developers time and effort of writing testing and even fixing codes is also important so in all these kind of ways all these parameters are used in this software development to make coding more easier next comes your security 
this will play a very vital role in any kinds of platforms that you see organizations can use generative ai to craft scenarios that mimic a wide range of cyber threats from phishing emails to complex malware attacks so this will allow the cyber security team to experience and respond to these threats in a controlled environment so that they can protect themselves from any real world incidents happening so next let me talk about healthcare advising in healthcare advising generative ai finds application in various healthcare domains including your drug discovery image medical processes and personal line medicines even in healthcare even the diagnostic people and even the diagnostic machines are even used is an ai process so all these datas are insights that can improve the patient outcomes and also the streamline healthcare processes so next comes your finance as i told you that finance will play an important role in many fields where generative ai can be used as a fraud detection in finance by generating synthetic examples of fraudulent transaction or activities so these data will help people to know about how the machine learning algorithms is put in the financial processes for making it more legitimate and fraudulent pattern in the financial data so next let me talk to you about your automation automation is nothing but it is significantly enhancing robotic process automation for example that is your rpa so this will enable more versatile and adaptable automation that's how your online transactions and many kinds of very free platformic uh, materials are done so these processes are very natural in language they synthesize data and make sophisticated decisions for people now have you all imagined why generative ai has made a great impact in humans life why is it so so easy for humans to use it yes i am here to tell you why generative ai is enhanced for making decision making processes and also by providing valuable insights argumenting data and also analysis so these give you very easy decisions even there are very alternative options for making a problem solving easier this will give you a large number of data to be processed and by this you all know that nowadays many of the platforms are using these kind of datas to be trained their own models and also generative ai helps decision makers to explore alternate strategies by accessing potential growth so that's how it is making a very big growth in the economy too so now let me tell you how the models are created the primary function is to understand and capture the underlying pattern of distribution of the given set of data how each set of data is distributed in the each models that we are creating so once we know that there is a huge number of data that is created it is to be learned that the model can generate new data and they can share the similar characteristics with the original data set too so generative ai is also a model where they have a lot number of datas that to be trained it is also giving an additional information to your previous number of datas that you have created the previous data is given to more information that is not seen before so the creativity of each data is given in a very underlying stages so some models i can tell you is that nowadays using is chat gpt open ai that is dali 2 and your alpha code so now let me tell you the models are made to generate by the data that is trained by using many ai algorithms when the datas are trained as we know that there is a word called big data each model is having their own data that is very vast and very versatile too so every data that is created is huge they will have their own data set that is not to be generated previously they are used by using algorithms for example i can tell you two algorithms those are the vaes and gans so those are the two algorithms that can be created they all are having the models that are mainly generated by the data that is trained by the using ai algorithms as i told you all will be trained the data and synthesized with the new characteristics every time you create a new model that is giving a new creativity and new characteristics to the same model that you have created by using your trained data so now let me tell you how the evolution of generative ai has taken place till now so generative ai is an ability to stimulate the model and also scenarios in revolutionizing the research and development across many many industries every industries use ai nowadays as you can see the development of ai is huge So generative AI is was first introduced in 1960 by the chatbot but not until 2014 
still the generative adversarial networks and the GAN, the machine learning algorithms were introduced. These algorithms are mainly used to create all the versatile models that are to be generated in real world applications. So this real world applications gives you the creativity, how the images, videos and data is to be produced. Lastly, I would like to tell you guys that generative AI can make new things like art and music without human help. It's good for many areas like health and money, but we need to be careful about the fairness, privacy and bad uses. We should keep studying and making rules to use it in a right way. Finding a balance between making new stuff and being fair is really important for everyone. Thank you and stay tuned to more videos like these and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!